What is up, YouTube? What is going on, everybody? It's Rodimus Primal. I am back. I am live, and I am talking Transformers with you guys. And uh, hopefully everything is working because, you know, things are going a little crazy with uh, stuff I've been seeing on YouTube all over the place. And uh, yeah, uh, but I wanted to talk Transformers today and, you know, just, um, you know, there's there of course we had the the fourth live stream from Hasbro and there's a couple different leaks and things of that nature that I think that people are going to be I don't know like I I feel like the like a lot of the Transformers community right now is like in a weird flux it's probably the best way that I can describe it cuz it's like how can I put it um you know you got a cartoon that's like you know, only hitting a certain audiences and it's not hitting a lot. Of, I don't think it's hitting a lot the new fans the way that they think that it should. You know, you have a comic book, which is doing phenomenal. The The new Transformers comic book is great, but it's really the toys. It's all about the toys, man. So I see everybody coming into the chat. I just wanted to, uh, you know, say what's up to my people. I got ho hobbies with Jose. It's always a pleasure seeing you. If you have never seen his channel, definitely check him out. He's got a uh, whole bunch of, um, you know, customization that he does with his toys. It's just so freaking awesome uh, seeing the work that he does. You know, Melvor, uh, supporter of the channel, also is uh, part of the Game Chasers and Toy Chasers. And uh, you got you got to make the trek out here to Central Florida. And, you know, I'll show you some toy places around here we can always check out. You guys, if you're ever coming to the area. Um and I see see a bunch of everybody else talking about, you know, the news <laughs> as it's dropping. See Matt Perez and Lion Primal and Cyberman 217 and, you know, the ne thinking that the next crossover should be the Thunder Tank from Thundercats. I think Kit would be a phenomenal, you know, crossover. That would be one that I would be like, I have to get it. I don't care how. <laughs> You know, Lion Primal, what's going on? I see you there. Um, you know, an 80s kid from the 90s, spotted legacy animated. Nice. Very nice. I There's a few Transformers that I'm, like, really in the market for. So I definitely want Silverbolt. I definitely want um, Gears for sure. You know, um, absolutely want to get um tiger hawk and sandstorm both of them and um yeah I, I mean those are those are like on my must get lists for sure i still need to get junk heap i think it's a junk heap or scrap heap so it's the most current uh junkie on that's out there right now but um yeah kit would rule absolutely kit would just be like everyone's saying kit would be um the best crossover for transformers right now like <laughs> would absolutely um make vicky from the show small wonder don't know who that is <laughs> so but there's just a lot of cool stuff that that happened today uh with the you know live stream some of it though was leaked a little bit you know um let me just break this out really quick see if i can't uh share this with you guys hold on a second here i'm gonna bring this up real quick there we go okay so I wanted to bring this up this way first before I start really talking about uh, the, you know, all the different things that end up happening. So this literally leaked sometime. Uh, it was, I think it was like 11 o'clock last night that I saw it. And I'm like, okay, this is cool. You know, I know everybody's going to start talking about this, but it was literally going to be shown today during the live stream and i'm like man you're really like you're trying to pull the rug out of under somebody 
Some I don't know if somebody's got it in for BMAC, Mark, and Evan, but it seems to be what ends up happening is like all this stuff ends up getting leaked before uh, anything else. And I'm just like, I it it, it bothers me. I, I don't like I, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to defend Hasbro like the corporate, but the Transformers brand team has been doing, I think, a really good job of trying to make do with what they're working with and trying to bring us like whole bunch of different Transformers characters from different series and, you know, trying to incorporate things from the comics and Prime and Beast Wars and later G1 and early G1 and um, Robots in Disguise and Animated and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, but the, where are we? The The 40th stream, we, it's week four was today. And this is what they, you know, they showed us today. It was kind of cool stuff, I think. Um, the coins, <clears throat> I'm not really feeling. Not not really feeling it. I, you know, thanks a lot for the super chat. We're going to talk about that. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not really feeling the coins, to be quite honest with you. Like, if you're a collector of this stuff and you want, like, anything that, like, could be, uh, you know, Transformers, like, any type of memorabilia, Sure, I guess, <laughs> but it's not something that I'm going to collect, but, you know, I know some people like that's like, they, they want to have like those, they may even like, this will be good for like display purposes, like having like a, like these medallions, like on a, on a display that you put for like your pictures and on social media and stuff. The other thing was um, the, they're re-releasing the vinyl for the uh soundtrack so the original g1 soundtrack is gonna it was released on vinyl it, i think it sold out pretty quickly so they're re-releasing it for the 40th anniversary and i think this is like new art for the cover that is in style of the original cartoons like old poster and it was done they interviewed the artist and i was like okay that's nice but i will say this much I think I might someone might have actually put the that this soundtrack on digital. <clears throat> and they uh the 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 theme song that they have is like the the first season's theme song and it, I think it doesn't have the digitization to the voicing so it doesn't sound like the transformers it actually sounds like the people themselves singing the actual theme song like the transformers like it's actually like them singing it which was kind of cool to hear it that way i don't know if like that's the same if it's on this particular release yeah i think it should be on itunes or spotify or something like that or if there's i, I i'm i'm of the opinion i would rather have the digital files saved on my computer and i think spot i don't know if you can do that with spotify or itunes because um, like to have the digital file itself. I don't, I am of the opinion that I, I, of, of preservation and as much as people like, as much as people would like to have like, okay, as long as I can gain access to it digitally, they're, they're okay with it. But like when it comes down like the video games and such, I'd rather have the, the the actual files on my machine or the physical cartridge or things of that nature. So, you know, but vinyl is, is where they're going with it with there. But so that's, uh, okay. Like I said, I was just kind of like eh, with it. Do want to mention this. They are reissuing the Ectotron. So I have the Ectotron. You can probably see that the box got smashed. So when I moved from New Jersey here down here to Florida, my box got crushed in the move, which sucked. Um, that one container was the container that got crushed, and it had all the it had a box in the container to protect it, and it still got smashed and smashed my Gigawatt box and my uh, Ectotron box and the figures. The Ectotron was opened. I don't know. The, the gigawatt was open and I did a review for it, but the, um, what's it called? Uh, the Ectotron is unopened, but the box is crushed, but the figure itself, the reason why they did this, they re reissued it was because of the frozen empire movie. 
So they figured, hey, let's re-release the Ecto-1, uh, Ectotron, and, you know, this way people can get it. And I think that's kind of cool. I've not seen Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I need to. <laughs> I need to sit down and actually watch it. I will say this much. I, I've i kind of liked what they've been doing with X-Men 97. And it kind of made me want to see a, a G1 continuation again. <laughs> not going to lie. But uh, yeah, so they, they, they re-released that on, on Pulse. I do have links in the description for Amazon and Entertainment Earth. So if you actually click on the links for that, you can actually go on there to purchase the, you know, this figure uh, and would, would help my, the channel out for me. Now, let's talk about Wallop. Let's talk about Wallop. That's what they're calling him. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a weird name. They should have made it Metalhead. It absolutely should have been Metalhead. And I think that would have been a little bit better, personally speaking. <laughs> but maybe they didn't have license to be able to sell the figure under a Hasbro, like to sell a Transformers figure that Hasbro is producing. I think that they weren't allowed to sell the figure with the, a name that of Hasbro's. So they were trying to figure up a name, but Wallop? Such a weird name. I'm just going to call this, the, I, I don't know. Party, it's, they, they, I know it's called the Party Wagon. And I think that's where they came up with Wallop. But it was called the Turtle Van in the cartoon. Uh, Metalhead. Yeah, repaint. Maybe he should get a repaint as Metalhead. So here is the vehicle mode. Looks really cool. Not going to lie. Um, yeah, that's just so freaking cool. To actually have like an like a transforming action figure of the turtle van. You know, my kids are starting to get into turtles. We finished gen watching Generation 1. They watch, they're they watching the 87 turtles with me. And we've been watching Beast Wars. So uh, they've been enjoying those two cartoons with, 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 uh, with me. But, you know, when it turns into robot mode, it's basically a turtle shell in the back. Yeah, it could, it could call it Shell Shocker. <laughs> Yeah, Kawabungatron. That's a good one. Kawabungatron, which uh, I think that's going to be my April code for Toy Hacks is going to be Kawabunga in celebration for this. So um, now in robot mode, notice that it's it's Raphael here in robot mode. Basically, what they've done is they tried to make this where it could be any one of the four turtles. I think it should have been Metalhead, but they wanted to try and celebrate all four turtles in the way that they did it. So let's see if I can try to find, uh, you know, one thing that bothers me about the way Facebook presents images, but it's got a picture of, there we go. So the head will have a removal. You'll be able to remove the helmet. And the helmet, it'll come with four different helmets colored like with the four different turtle heads, like the, the masks for blue or um, orange or or what have you. And it's based on the 87 cartoon. And this chest piece here, which is the front of the, the turtle van, is removable and can be a shield. And then the actual part front part there, the, the tire, is a pizza. I was like, that is genius. That is absolutely genius. He's got his own personal pan pizza. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a weird looking robot turtle head. But he can carry all four of the weapons. And like I said, it comes with all four of the these here. So this is a probably better images that can kind of show. So this is what I was talking about. How each of the four little mask things can go on top of the head and make it whatever turtle you want. He comes with the weapons, comes with two swords, comes with a bow, comes with two sides, comes with two nunchucks, or nunchaku, however you want to pronounce it. And then you can also change out the, like you can flip the belt, the, the belt piece around, the, the belt piece around. I, I'm speaking all messed up here. 
but it'll give you the different letters that you want. And like I said, it becomes a shield. So that, that front piece, where is that one picture? There it is. Like the front piece comes off and becomes a shield. And that's what makes like this classic turtle chest. So that's cool. I just don't like the fact that his hands are standard fists. You know, it should be the old turtle hand with two, you know, fingers. And that's kind of like a messed up opportunity right there. But I'm sure that there's going to be some third party people coming around to fix that problem. You know, the turtle van itself cool, looks cool. It, it looks awesome in vehicle mode. And, you know, I, I I saw this and I was like, this is kind of cool because pretty much what people are going to end up doing, you're going to have some people like myself who will buy one figure. Just one. Doesn't have to be all four of them. Just can be one of them. And we'll display it as one of the turtles. Like, I'll probably put, like, this is the Michelangelo mask. Where was the Raphael one? Now, that was Raphael. Then you have Donatello and Leonardo, of course. Um, I'm going to probably put it the red mask on him because eighty four in the 84 Turtles, he was, like, the, the Mirage Turtles was all four of them wore red headbands. Because it was black and white in the comic itself, but the when they did colorize it, they just made all four turtles with red. And then, you know, it's just basically whatever turtle you want it to be. Like, you can, you don't have to put the R there. You can actually make it blank, I think, to my understanding. Like, it doesn't have to have uh, any one particular, yeah, it doesn't have to have any one particular turtle, which is cool. So... And then you can store the weapons wherever you need to. Like all four of the weapons store on him in robot mode or in vehicle mode. So like this is like a perfect little like addition. You know, if you don't necessarily want to like have the big giant turtle van, it's like it's great, you know. And my, like I said, my kids are starting to get into turtles. You know, just as much as we got in, you know, we're, we're into Transformers and, and everything else. I know some people are like, oh, I don't necessarily, I don't want a turtle van. Like turtles is crossing over with everything right now. And they are. <laughs> they're crossing over with He-Man. They're crossing over with Transformers. Like turtles is trying to make sure that their name is still out there. And I don't blame them for that. But, you know, in my country, it's Nunchuckus. And I thought Nunchuck was the, or Nun, I, like, I don't know. Like, what's the, I don't know what's the actual, yeah, shell storage. Um, I don't know what the, uh, yeah, that's right. They are crossing over with Power Rangers too. Um, I don't know what the proper, like the, the, the plural for nunchucks. Like, we just called them nunchucks back in the day. I mean, even when I took karate, they were called nunchucks, you know. So now, this set right here. No, that here it is. Here's better images of it. Here is the four pack that everybody has been talking about. Talking about whether or not they want to get one figure, two figures out of it. You know, uh, but they're all, of course, they're all retools or redecos. So this actually I think is really cool. So I'm just gonna play the um Play the video. You got Cliff Jumper made out of the chase mold. Looks cool. You know, uh, really matches the animation model for him very well. Vehicle mode for him is cool. They got the horns on the on the vehicle. Got to admit, that is cool too. Here is the one that I want is Squeeze Play, also known as Cancer, uh, depending upon whether or not you like Master Force or G1, you know, comics. Um, but there he is in, in Cobra, Cobra crab mode. It's basically what he is. He's a Cobra crab. <laughs> and there is the headmaster, which is modeled after cancer in the headmaster's anime. That's what they said. This is, this tarantula specifically is based on the, or the first beast wars commercial. So it was what you saw in the commercial has a new head, weird, funky looking orange spider. But that was the original toy 
not what was released at retail, but was was in the commercial. And then you have Joker Tarn or Cyberverse Tarn. <laughs> I say Joker Tarn because his face has a weird red line across his face to make him look like a like a grimace. The tank mode looks the best. Got to admit. Got to admit that looks cool. But someone was saying that the where is it? Um, the gun for for uh, that the gun is oh yeah it is Browning it's just not it's just painted as a regular gun and not well no that's right because he was brown in robot mode but silver yeah it's Browning that's that is really cool okay I want that <laughs> I want Fang I, I want Squeeze Play I already have Fangry so I have both the other black the the toy accurate black arachnia which i swapped the legs the spider legs for her that and the kingdom figure and i have what was it and i got fangry and i got them both for five bucks down here in ocala there was a toy store um you know down here and found a toy store and was able to find it and was like they had a, like a bucket and was like five dollars a piece i'm like okay five dollars for that black arachnia five dollars for that um for fangry and it, it was the that target four pack but squeeze play is definitely a, a definite must for me um definitely want squeeze play for sure love it absolutely love it and it's it's made out of the mind wipe mold from titan's return so it's a complete retool they instead of having the the bat wings it's the crab claws which i think are great so You've been watching the Japanese G1 cartoons and Victory. Victory is fantastic. A lot of people got you got you know sleep on Victory. So here's the thing about Cliff Jumper. When I when when I got the Chase figure, I was thinking Lockdown would be a better retool for him. But a lot of people were saying Cliff Jumper, Cliff Jumper, Cliff Jumper, Cliff Jumper, and so they went with Cliff Jumper. And you know what? He looks he looks good. I know for the Transformers Prime fan, this is this is good. This is great. But for me, I'm happy with the cliff jumper I got on my shelf up there. I'm happy with the G1 cliff jumper. So, but still, I think it's a cool looking figure. The vehicle mode looks great. I love the little bit of retooling that they did for the for that. Wish they added a second head for his zombie form. Yeah, yeah, that would have made sense because, I mean, you think about it. It's a figure that you're buying who died <laughs> for a character who died in episode one of Transformers Prime. Like, dies in episode one because the rock was too expensive. So, which is kind of the thing about Transformers Prime. is if you if, Whether you love or you hate Transformers Prime, that was an issue with the show. Was that it was, it was kind of known for... Um, blowing its budget to the point where like they, they paid a lot of money for some of the voice talent that they got and they couldn't afford to keep them as long as much as they want to. And then of course the third season is like, they wanted to go in a completely different direction with the beast hunter show. But like I said, they either love it or hate it. That was just kind of, that was a, a back end issue of transformers prime, but Tarn, this is what I was talking about. That weird, joker smile with the red line there it looks so odd <laughs> and the sword of course is bludgeon sword um that they added in for him i got tarn right here i have the um you know more comic book accurate tarn so you can kind of see the differences there the colors colors are different in places so And even the the blaster, yeah, the blaster is I, I don't know like I'm I'm torn between which one I like better. So because the whole gimmick behind Tarn is that he has a Decepticon symbol for his face. That's like the whole 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 gimmick. So 
Oh, and one other thing to take note of with with uh, you know with squeeze play. So was it Fangry? You know, Fangry was the one who kicked the dog, right? Um, and then you know Minerva got so mad and like beat the crap out of um of both of both squeeze play and fangry which they were going by you know their japanese names of course so this this is a four pack specifically for all four of them tarantulas i'm not feeling but it's a different head so if you want it to be a different character you could consider it a different character thank you mr solar sun yeah, I think Hasbro, like a lot, every Power Rangers and Tran like every fan out there who is a fan of both Transformers and Power Rangers has said to Hasbro, we want a crossover. We want a crossover. We want a crossover. And they're like, I don't know why they don't, they don't do so, but maybe it could be because of licensing issues to do with Bandai. And maybe they're not allowed to use the Bandai mold. I don't know. But I mean... I don't know if there's a, a an issue with that. That's just speculation. So don't don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, the head sculpt looks nice. It is the more toy accurate head, very similar to that black arachnia head that they used for the toy accurate one. Or the I call that character Spinneret. I like to call that character Spinneret for that reason. So, but I don't know toxic spider <laughs> like venom I, I don't know like a venomatron i'm just or venerantulus i'm just trying to think of like something different for a name for this character you know just something different and of course the box set comes it's a it's a four it's a box set that's going to be exclusive to target Definitely the strangest four pack I've seen. Yeah, I agree. Well, here's something about my shirt. It says Con World Order. I made this shirt. It's a Decepticon symbol. And it says, uh, you know, because it's Decepticon World Order. Then that's that's the idea behind the shirt. So I wore this. I, I was wearing this shirt around town somewhere. And someone was like, that's so cool. It's so different. Like it's like the old NWO shirt, but what it's what what is it what does it mean? I was like, do you like Transformers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an NWO reference. So yeah. And, oh, and speaking of which, yeah, so um Fire Talks made me a uh con it's I'll actually get grab it here. It's this, um, a proud member of the Con Bros Entertainment Network of Mediocre YouTubers. Because <laughs> if you think about it, we are, we are mediocre. <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, who wants to tune in to, to, to some guy with no hair on his head who loves to collect toys, talk about Transformers? I know 103,000 of you did, but, you know. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so where were we? Back to the 40th stream. Oh, they also made mention that the tar the uh, comic book Shockwave, and I think is available for pre-order now. Um, you want a Hogan Transformer? <laughs> So this was really, really cool, I have to admit. The like the head itself, it does work on Optimus Prime. So if you're familiar with the Marvel comics, which of course I have issue five there, there, there on the wall. Um, you know, that's when Shockwave had all the Transformers like lined up on the ceiling, and they had Optimus Prime's head here. And then in issue 12, they delivered a fake head. Yeah, it's an upside down submarine, right? It's a spaceship. So you can turn that around and turn it into his real alt mode. So that's cool. And then I think that's right. They started doing the pipeline stuff again. 
I was really happy they did the pipeline stuff. I'm not going to lie. So I know uh, a friend of the channel, Balt, um, well, Balt Matrix is a friend of the channel, but so is Deluxe Baldwin, um, has this Sunstreaker figure and reviewed him. And this side swipe they're doing, another side, you know, they're doing the War for Cybertron uh, video game side swipe. And they did a, they're doing a core class Bumblebee movie shockwave. And they also made the announcement for Swoop. So I was really happy they did this because, um, you know, a lot of people, every single stream, every single week, they've been talking about Swoop, you know, uh, Swoop. There he is. What's going on, Treebot? What's up? Finally what is up? I, I just talked about all the different toy releases that were coming out. I know you were working on your oh. way home, but so I, I talked about the turtle van. I talked about the, the four pack and now I'm talking about the pipeline stuff. Oh yeah. So. I, I actually missed the pipeline stuff. So like I, it's all kind of new to me. The only thing I knew about was swoop. So everything else I haven't seen yet. Yeah. I mean, deluxe was talking about the fact that he got Sunstreaker already. And I think we've oh, seen yeah. leaks so, for Sideswipe already, too. And mm -hmm. then the Shockwave, I think, is a core class figure. And then oh, no, the that's a Voyager. Uh, that that well, Shockwave is a Voyager. Voyager. Well, they didn't. They, yeah, they did so, a Voyager, right? So they did, the, they did the core class first, but people have gotten their hands on the Voyager already because it's, it's just uh, been popping up in a bunch of places. Okay. Okay. So that's that was the, yeah. All right. It got Neat. leaked so much. I'm more, I'm so more excited much. about this shockwave. Really yes. excited. Yeah, so am I. So am Dude, I. Like, he comes with the head of Optimus Prime and a base for it. Like, how cool mm -hmm. is that? That is so now, freaking cool. Of this, of this whole comic thing they're doing, what I'm more, most excited about is the Grimlock. Really? I love comic color Grimlock, and I don't have that, that mold yet. So I've been kind of holding off That's for it. I didn't grab the, the yeah. yeah, I didn't have the, uh, the 86 one. I couldn't mm -hmm. find it in any of my Walmarts. And then the G2 one, I wasn't crazy about. So this one's just right up my alley. So I'm just, yeah. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. I, I'd say go, I say go, definitely go for it because I, I have the 86 Grimlock. I love it. Like I don't, I, I'm like, I am perfectly fine. Never getting another Grimlock figure, but I've been saying, how many times have you watched my videos and how many times have I said, please reissue 86 grams? Yeah, they, they need to. They need to. Yeah. And it because like with Swoop coming out, perfect opportunity. Yeah. Perfect opportunity. Yep. Unless they say, no, we're not going to release the regular 86 Grimlock. We're going to do G2 Blue Grimlock. <laughs> oh man, that would all oh, the pitchforks and, and torches up for that. I mean, I, I know there's a market That's, for that blue G2, but yeah. good Lord, people would be freaking out. Yeah, I know. So then I was also talking about the, the this four-pack, too. I yeah, I'm, want Squeeze Play bad. Mm -hmm. He looks really good. Even though he's a... Even though he's a... What? <laughs> Uh-oh. Frozen... You, you be, you've literally... You are a tree. Uh oh, yeah. Okay, good you, now? you froze there for a second. <laughs> Am I good now? You're good now. There you go. Okay, so he's a remold of Titans Return Mind, Mind Wipe, Wipe, but he yeah. looks way better than Mind Wipe. Yes. Which which of the figures that are you most excited to this four pack? So I own one of the molds, which is, which is Tarn. Yeah, I own Tarn. Yeah. I but have Tarn. But I think this Tarn looks so cool enough where I'm going to just go ahead and get all of them and keep all of them. Okay. I the terran I see, I already have Tarantulas. And I, I like the original colors for Tarantulas. Mm. Yeah, poor Treebot living up to his name. <laughs> I got I to see the chat. Oh, yeah. Z oh, Zeta's in the chat. Yeah, Zeta's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so um who was it um 
but like my squeeze play, I definitely want it because I already have Fangry. Oh, you froze again. Mm. Let, okay, let's do this. Oh, great. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I had to do that. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, Cliff Jumper, what's your thoughts on Cliff Jumper? So, I think this is the best of the prime uh, molds that they've come out with in Legacy so far, in my opinion. I okay. think he's better than. Well, it doesn't take much to beat RC. I, I'm, I didn't care for that figure very much as RC. Mm -hmm. Bulkhead is fun. He's cool, but I think Mr. Sneeze Frame. Man, what is going on with his internet? <laughs> right in the middle of a point. I have an idea. You have an idea. Do you think it might be your, a wireless connection or? It's definitely that. I'm going to try something else. If you right. lose me, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, boy. A comic sound wave has to happen. We de That definitely... They, they're probably going to do that. I don't know if they'll do the Netflix mold or if they'll do a Studio Series 86 sound wave as a new mold and then do sound wave as like in comic book colors with the Jose Delbo mouth. That would be something. Web, sp web spitter? Hmm. How many times is he going to get hit by the instant immobilizer? <laughs> they should. They absolutely should. I think Skybound, well, Skybound, since they have the license, they could. I wonder if they do something like a special edition that has like a new, new color scheme for it. That would be neat. Comic Megatron or Optimus Prime. I think they could do... Uh, Comic book Megatron would be interesting. Think you got your internet working now? Or are you still frozen over there? I'm getting close. I think I'm... I'm oh, boy. Uh-oh. There it is. So, yeah, so the big thing, the biggest news, of course, was the Ninja Turtles crossover. And um, I'm excited about that for sure. How many people we got? We got 76 people. I'd love to, I'd love to have a, um, a live stream as hopping as some of my uh, some of the other other podcasts I've been on. <laughs> That would, that would be a whole other thing. But those folks give like super chats galore. And <laughs> nope, he's still frozen. But comic book bat ratchet would be nice. Oh boy. Broken internet connections. 75 is not bad for sure. Let me just stop sharing for now. Yeah, you're definitely still frozen right now. I'm still frozen. I'm trying to leave. Kremzik, Kremzik. Come on. Work with me here.
Uh oh, we lost him completely. Skybound Comics take on. Think you're back now? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. There you go. Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You just. What about your sound? Is your sound it? working or no? Can you hear me? I can. I can well, I can hear you there. And you just cut out. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. You think it's your camera? Okay. It might be my camera. Unless I'm cutting out again. No, you're not cutting out. You're you're fine there. You got to get yourself a new avatar though. Then you can change it, but don't worry about oh, it for now. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll still just chat for now. It's not a big deal. Because I've only got about twenty minutes before I have to uh, have to bounce, but I do want to talk about so what was I what was I talking about? You were talking about cliff jumper. Yeah, so uh, he, it's the the irony to me liking him so much is like he's that was the mold he like that mold is why I find it ironic that I like him the most out of like the prime character so far. You think that he was a pre tool for you know, like like he wasn't meant to be Chase. Either that or or it may have like been an afterthought to make chase into cliff jumper, but still all the same cliff jumper turned out pretty well. I think just from looking yeah. at him. Yeah. What do you think of the figures I got on screen right now? The uh, sandstorm, the star scream. I know, now, I know some stuff, people are going gaga over this star scream, man. Yeah. This stuff I'm really excited for because like, I'm one of the people that have the original Galaxy Force Starscream in hand, like mm -hmm. the Voyager. So it, I can do a comparison with that. Okay. Which I'm very excited to do once I get my hands on, on it. Elvor with the super chat. I haven't I haven't done one t during this stream, Just so I'm going to thank my uh, my audience real quick. Transformers more than meets the eye. Autobots make their battle to destroy the evil forces on the Decepticon. The Transformers, robots in the skies. The Transformers more than meets the eye. The Transformers <laughs> how to do so. The uh, I this, love that. Uh, screamer figure though does look good um i have uh what's it call it i have i have the the one that came in the vector i actually do i still have it did do you you were there um did i end up selling him i think i sold him and the vector prime yeah i can't remember seeing it i don't remember seeing it but i'm i'm, I'm sure you don't know if i sold it or not yeah I'm sure it was in there. Yeah, because I ended up selling. I ended up selling so many toys that day. So many. This figure is but, like uh, I need uh, it in my collection now. I want him in my collection uh -oh. now. I'm, I love, 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 love Silverbolt. Like one of my one of my favorite Beast Wars characters. Step aside, citizen. He's so. <laughs> I go back to him. So it looks so cool. I, I love him too. He's he's my, actually my first Beast Wars figure that I owned. Oh wow! Yeah, I end up like I yeah. if I remember correctly, when Beast Wars came out, I didn't collect anything from the first year. I I watched season two, like the tail end of season two, when they aired it on Cartoon Network. Cause I saw the first episodes and I wasn't really like feeling it. And then I went, like I saw the final five episodes of season two that aired on cartoon network. 
and they had the whole Decepticons Forever line. And I was like, I need to see this. I need to watch yes. it all. Watch the whole show. Got money. Bought bought Optimus Primal and uh and Mega and Megatron, the trans metal figures, and then got Silver Bolt. Those are my first three Beast Wars figures that I that I own. Transmetal was such a time to be alive. Oh yeah. Very, very cool transmetal. Transmetal was so good. And uh I actually rewatched it. I actually watched it uh when it was on Netflix. You know, when they had like everything still on Netflix, that was when I watched mm -hmm. it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand I'll, I'll give you something in the private chat uh in a couple of minutes. That will, um, I, I, if you if you never heard of it or seen it, it's a it's a where you'll, you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's a pretty cool way to be able to watch cartoons. So, what do you think of this Chromia? Okay, this is where I start having some problems. It's cool, I like it, but I wish there. Were to the box. You wish what? That's more problems. No, I would no, more no, like no, the bike no, mode was no, more no. remolded. Sorry, I'm in a raw mode today. What? <laughs> He's cutting out, dude. The the mode Cyberverse was a pretty decent show. Had its ups and downs. I enjoyed it, um, especially season three. But there were things I couldn't. I'm still freezing, aren't I? Right. What about now? You 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 doing better now with the audio or what? Um, I think I. Getting completely cut out, man. That sucks. Chromia looks like a gremlin in that picture. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And looking at Shard. So I made a mistake in my last video about Shard. And I assumed that the Rock Transformers had a faction. Like they were part of Autobots or Decepticons. And... This rock copter is actually factionless. So my mistake. And also the gears figure specifically, something I want to point out is that the um what's it called? Uh the figure comes with the chest off and it's in the packaging so that you don't it doesn't get stolen. So Hasbro doesn't want Treebot to air his critiques. <laughs> That's as bad as a certain live stream I was watching today where it literally got cut off. Had, like YouTube just literally cut the stream. <laughs> Rock Lord is a, is a fembot. Yeah, it's all that we know is that it's a fembot. But... So I'm going to stop sharing real quick and just let it be for now. And I'll answer some, some, uh, uh, you guys who want to talk. I've been talking about all this stuff for the past 45 minutes or 49 minutes. Yeah. Cyber versus mid peak. Mm. I mean, I'm going to top, I'm going to put G one above it. Obviously season one was not the best season two improved and season three was was really good yeah the first half like i want to say up until they beat the quintessence that later half of season well i mean yeah yeah I, I would say season three was good uh season four was just what the two episodes those were fun um i do want to talk more about the 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 uh skybound you know, Skybound has been blown out of the water, man. They got, like, if you guys have not been reading Skybound's Transformers yet, I'm telling you, you need to. It's so, so, so good. Um, let me see if I can get a good image from um, 
you know, from it. Cause it's like, oh man, like the, the comics are so good. Um, get people talking about a certain issue. Yeah. I, I, I'm having a hard time finding a good image for it, but that's okay. So the, 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 the new comics, like they're kind of doing their own G one without being G one. Like they start off like the, the, the arc does crash on earth. The transformers do wake up, but characters are dying. <laughs> it's gritty. It's everything that you would want in a G1 reboot without going, you know, like, but does do its own thing. So it's giving reason for the, for GI Joe to exist in its universe, which I think is great. Um, you, if you're going to start to actually, like if you're going to read the, the comics, if you can't get the physical floppies, you might want to wait for the, the, the trade, but if not, you can also pick up the individuals from your like digital. I think they sell it digitally. So um, if you can't, you know, if you are going to read it that way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to like post the entire like comic, but. Let's see if I can like share part of it. Give me a second. I'll see if I can if I if I can share this, like it'll it'll be pretty cool because you'll be able to read um where are we? You think they reprint they've been reprinting the first few issues a lot. A lot. He's got no devices connected. Come on, Treebot. <laughs> He's trying to get back in. Oh, there you are. Okay. I think I fixed it think you think you fixed it you think it was your headset it, it i think it was the, the laptop i'm on my phone now ah uh, okay yeah so, so i'm thinking i think i fixed it so this image right here like is enough to sell and then the following one right here with the with the suplex Skybound oh, comics yeah. have been great. Oh, yeah. It's easily climbing into my top three uh, right now. You know, then Ratchet kicks them. They they store all the Transformers in the in their uh in Optimus's trailer. Poor opt you know, poor Bumblebee, but this was cool too. The actual vehicle modes they chose. Like it's still G1 Optimus with the truck and the trailer, but then they did this version of an ambulance. Yes. I found that really interesting myself. Yeah. Now my my favorite part so far is from uh six with reflector. <laughs> oh gosh. That is that, my that favorite. Not spoil that for anybody who hasn't read it. That was that was uh yeah, Optimus Power Bombs a Decepticon. <laughs> That's why I posted that reflector picture on Twitter for that reason. Yeah, poor, poor reflector and frenzy. Oh yeah, it was not a good day for them. No, I'm just I'm just wondering what's going to happen next. That's that's because I keep seeing that that Starstream cover. I'm like, what is going to happen in this issue? I know, I know. I'm I'm curious too, but. I think the comic is good. I think um, I, I should do another video on the more because I did the issue. I think from the first I did a, a one video on the first two issues 
I think I did issues three and four, and I probably should do a video on five and six. Not that I was trying to do like individual like videos that way, but I just because the the comics have been so good. Um, and I'm also been trying to work on a retrospective script, so <laughs> that always takes time, you know. Yeah. Um, the biggest problem is I'm having having lately is like so much stuff has been going on everywhere that like, you know, when you like you, you write, I, I literally have a script about 90% done right now. And that last 10% is killing me. Yep. Because I'm trying to write a good intro and I'm trying to write a good concluding paragraph. Yep. That's so. the problem I had with, uh, death stories. My death door script is almost finished, but I don't know what to do at the last, like, what's supposed to be, like, my last three minutes of the video. No mm -hmm. clue. Yeah, I'm going to put something in the private chat for you real quick. Um, I should be able to do the private, private chat, right? There we go. Yeah, you should. Okay, there we go. Yeah, if you open up, like... If you take that website that I just sent you, just save that. But anyway, um, not to climb on the same tree, will we get a big O? Uh, you know, I don't know. Like, I have to sit down and rewatch all this stuff. That's that's the thing. Like, if I'm already watching... Um, you know, if I'm already rewatching, like, a, you know how often I'm watching, like, G1 Transformers, then I'll watch Beast Wars, and then I'm watching Armada, and then I'm watching a movie, you know, and then I got to make time for, like, I just watched the third episode of X-Men 97. Like, I have to make time for it. Yeah, the good thing about, like, me is, like, when I get, if I ever get sick or something, that's when I turn on the Unicron trilogy, and I just watch that. Like if I have the flu or a cold or <laughs> when I had COVID, oh, I just breeze through them. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Unicron trilogy is rough. Now, Arm I can sit through Armada better than the other two, but with Cybertron, I need a little bit of breathing time in, in some, some parts of the show. Oh, that sucks. You read this to see. You know, he, he bought Ectotron from a scalper for 90 bucks, and now i got to sell off my Sea Shockwave. Ah, oh, wow. My, my um, first and foremost, I, I have this from Fire Talks. Mm -hmm. and I'm still waiting on mine. Mine's crushed, unfortunately. Look at the box. But he's still he's still in the package. Mm. And the same thing happened to my gigawatt box. Look how badly this one got crushed. It got crushed bad. But this one's opened already, so no harm, no foul. But I wanted to keep the boxes because the boxes are nice. Right, right. They're the only like they're the only crossover boxes that look like original packaging. I, well, I still have um, – I don't have the Blackbird, but I do have the the Jurassic Park crossover box. So – and I, that's still in the box. I have never opened it because it just looks – it's too nice in the box. You know? Like it's one of those Transformers crossover sets that I'm like – I like it in the box. Like it actually – it's a nice display. You don't even want to take it out of the box. But that's kind of how I felt about that one. Well, I know that Jia sings. He's voiced by season one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the boxes, the thing is, is it happens. But I mean, you should probably just, you know, this, well, anyway, the Street Fighter crossovers. I wasn't I wasn't too thrilled about them. I just want to get the, the the Street Fighter figures themselves. Like I just bought the this Mega Man recently. Such a good Mega Man figure. 
see if I can get him to and I'm not going to be able to get a good, you know, get it to zoom in nicely, but this Mega Man figure for this is like the, the $20 Jada figure fig man is just so cool. Such a good figure. Now, I was talking about this guy right here. J oh, I'm Mega so Man. ready to get my hands on those. Oh, my gosh. They look so good. Yeah, the Mega Man figure is just so nice. I, I still need to get Fireman and Iceman. See, I was, I've was i spent a absurd amount on Mega Man figures because I, I started with the D-Arts from uh, Bondi. Okay. And then I did the Sentinel ones. And then I did the crowdfunded Diecast X that's like this tall. Okay. I did that too. So I've, those I've are got expensive. Pretty, yeah, those Mega weren't these. figures were expensive. I was I was like, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. Mm. You know, I, I want I want a super fighting robot, but I, I I want X. I definitely want X and Zero. I think I got my sent like that realistic sentinel one for like 60. I think I did on that one with the die cast on the legs. But these new ones look great. They do. And then there's the MLDX $40 figure, I think it is. Is it, is it bigger than this? or is, is I think it it's less? like, I think it's a little bit taller than that one. A little bit taller than this? Because this is really good. You know, the only thing I I, um, I worry is the paint. Because it's like a shiny paint. It's like mm -hmm. it's got a good shimmer to it. So I'm like, um, I'm afraid that like, you know, things can get scratched off too easily. So and really the reason I went so hard on them, like with buying all of them is I was big on the Archie comics when they were doing okay. the Mega Man comics. Oh, I was so invested I'm a in old that. school, hardcore NES Mega Man fan. Oh yeah. And I played the games too. I've got the, right. the full collection and everything. I really love yeah. the game. It's just the comics were so big when I was a kid, like fourth grade, third grade, everybody was reading them. Okay. So I got really big into the, can figures. you beat can you beat Mega Man One without the pause trick? Yes, yes, I it's can. Hard. It's hard. It's hard. It? it's hard, but I can. Especially I that can yellow devil, yellow devil fight. <laughs> the second one is the second and the fourth are my two favorites. Oh man, so many good figures that are coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, did you did you uh, upgrade your your uh, your point blank? I haven't got point blank yet, believe it or not. Okay. I skipped I that got wave. the non F kit and the, the toy hacks labels. So like he's got better elbows and you see what I did with the chest? Mm. The the they they tell you you're supposed to put the, the roof over here up a little bit more, but I chose to put it down here. And I think that looks better. Yeah, yeah. I think it does too. You know, and with the whole elbow kit, and then what I did with the the target master is because this piece here is what attaches to his, you know, to him in, in car mode. So, but the toy hacks labels do make him look so much better. Like he really needs like the whole kit. But yeah, speaking of Mega Man, they should have done a Sonic. Transformers crossover when I did I don't know because you know Mega Man is kind of like good in his own hand. universe. Yeah. Say again? Yeah. They kind of go hand in hand. There's certain kind of work works well together. Yeah, I agree with that one. That would be cool if they did the toy head. I am surprised we have not seen a Cyberverse Windblade kit. Definitely. She needs one. She needs something better with her sword, something to fix those wings, because those wings are... That's my, my biggest gripe with the figure is her wings. So the Toy Hacks labels do are, already do a nice job, but she definitely needs a kit. I'm not the biggest... Am I cutting out again? Yep. Great. Your internet. Wonderful. Now I'm on data. It's, it's still not. 
Yeah, now it's just data. I don't know what's going on today around here with signal. That is crazy. Definitely gotta got gotta work on something out in that area. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't have I don't I agree. I don't think a sonic transformer is IDW like like all these so a lot of these universes don't necessarily need to cross over. Sometimes when they do, it's fine, but there are some times when it's better for certain universes not to cross streams. So it's cool when it's a toy, like like the party wagon or but like an actual comic universe, like it has to be a good reason for that universe to cross over. So um, because it's it's supposed to be fun, but it, in order for it to work, it has to work a certain way. Um Shattered Glass is not my I'm not a big Shattered Glass fan. I think it's a cool concept. I don't think it needs to be explored more than it already has. It's cool when toys come out, but it's not I, I, I will I say this about it. For the hills for it. Fun Pub did it a lot better than Hasbro's been IDW. Did that. that was IDW story. I should say IDW. I should say IDW. Yeah. Uh, Fun Pub had a very specific way they were showing how, like, because it wasn't like it was set in the G1 Marvel universe, but they also had a very specific way of how they were going about or how their personalities were. Hasbro's just kind of, or IDW's just kind of been. Yeah, we'll do it this way some sometimes, but other times we're going to do it our way. You know, they've kind of been curveball in a couple things, and I've not really agreed with how they've done it. Thought just random thoughts on Sonic, I guess. Um, I play the games, but I'm not a hardcore Sonic fan. <laughs> I was when I was a kid. Not I'm not paying as much attention to it as I. No, it's like it's cool when a game comes out. It's cool when a movie comes out, but I'm not I, I'm not running to it. My kids love Mario. They love they love Zelda. You know? I wanna play Mario. Gotta play Mario. Sonic Frontiers is cool though. I love that game. I've not played it. I've not played it. I a lot a lot of the more current Sonic games I haven't played. I think the last one I played was Gosh, like of the more current ones. I played Sonic 4. I played Sonic Colors. Colors was fun. Yeah. Generations was cool, too. I played that on the Xbox. Okay. I Wait, uh, what was the what was the one where you can play as both? I think it was Generations where you can play as both. Mm -hmm. That's more, it. More modern Sonic. I played that one. Yeah. And that was cool. There was one more modern Sonic that I think that I played too that was also 2D. Um, was it Mania? Did you play Mania? That's it. It's Mania. Yeah, yep. Mania was really, really good. It was yeah. it was a lot like Sonic CD with how right. it looked. It was almost like a ROM hack of the old Sonic games, but like mm -hmm. added stuff in. So and I and I, and I did watch the old Sonic cartoon, but like Mar Mario was a bit more bigger into my kids just love Mario. They eat it up. Anything Mario. Was, my Sonic cartoon, which I, of course I watched the Super Show on the DVDs when they'd come out, you know. But my Sonic show was uh it was Sonic X. I loved Sonic X when I was a kid. Okay. Because it was on the CW uh anime block that they did with the gotcha. Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff and Yu-Gi-Oh! And they'd play Sonic X right in the middle of it. Sonic it peaked in, in 2D for me. Yeah, I, I agree. I think 2D is where Sonic is, is best gameplay-wise as. You know, Mar Mario is able to make the crossover, I think, a little bit better because he can yeah, pretty, do both. Right. Because, I mean, with Sonic, there was a lot he had to do, and Mario mm -hmm. didn't really have as much to, you know, do in 3D. Like that he had to do, I mean, because he mm -hmm. all you gotta do is jump and hit the stuff, you know, and then you could his power ups translate really well to 3D, but Sonic's not so much. No, no. I mean, even like Castlevania is another another uh, uh game that and same thing for Contra are two games that just didn't cross over well in the 3D. 
Like they're just better in 2D. I, I want to play that new Contra game. That new Contra game that came out. I saw the, the videos for it. I was like, dude, I have to play it. I need I feel it. like Contra would be good as like a 3D or like a 3D um third person shooter, like Fall of Cybertron, rather than a first person shooter, then I, I feel like they'd be trying to make it into. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because Contra Contra is one of those games that's just more fun to play. 2D, play it with somebody, you know, play with somebody who's good at platformers or side scrollers, you know, or shows up on side scrollers. <laughs> um and have more fun that way. What yeah, do you think I'm definitely about... gonna have to put the Konami code every time I play it. I can't I play can it with beat NES Contra with no without the Konami code. I can I can beat it without it. I may have to continue once, but I can definitely play through without the Konami code. And uh one player though. Two player, that's another story. <laughs> you need someone who's a good just as good of a player as you are. So Sonic is dope. I think there needs to be cross. I, eh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I can kind of see the Decepticon siding with that. Maybe Dr. Robotnik might. Who knows? Might see it that way. Someone wants to say that they think the Mario 3 cartoon was better than the Super Show. Mm. I think there were some jokes that were better in it. But I enjoyed the Super Show more. Well, that's because there were more episodes. There were only 13 right. episodes of Mario 3. And then I think there was 13 episodes of Mario World. I think, well, also, I feel like those two shows can be considered kind of one show. Because there were, like, all the characters were still the same as they were yeah. in World as they were in 3, so... But the it was it was cool that in the Mario three and Mario World cartoons they used the power ups more, whereas in Mario the Super Mario Brothers Super Show it was all these zany adventures which was a lot of fun. Yeah, and um, you know my kids ate that up too. Then we saw the Mario movie. They have not seen the live action Mario movie. I like that movie for a whole other reason. I I think it's terrible. But I just I just think it's funny to watch. Kung Fu Hustle says that this guy right here is his boy. They do I, I would like to get a, a new sculpt of his head done in um you know done done to be to, you know toy accurate instead of anime accurate or the the rebirth accurate. But Captain Lou for the win. That's for sure. Oh, Captain Captain Lou. It was such a great Mario. Oh, he was. He, he hey, really Mario. was. Yeah, Contra should always be 2D gameplay. I agree with that one. I there is a Mickey Mouse Transformer. Yes, it's I know exactly what you're talking about. It's that it's the one that turns into the truck and the cat or the trailer and the cab mm -hmm. all in one. Yeah, it's an all in one. Like the Coro Q. What what was your thoughts on this the, uh, on uh, Shadow Striker? So I saw her at Walmart last week. She's mm -hmm. all she's in every Walmart around me. I still don't know if I want to buy her yet. She's okay. She her shoulders are a little weird. I think she'll be better as Roulette and Side Sideburn when they come out with them. That like she does have this cool t like cape thing going on, which I think is cool. And I just I don't know like the 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 I robot mean, looking at her that way she's got the beats of the original mold with that on her back the way that's on her back yeah the, yeah I, I wish she was more Bruce like because beats. it's the cyberverse character I wish she was more like the cyberverse character but I think that as a as a rep like if she was in if she was more colored like I think it was supposed to be roulette and silhouette. We're supposed to be the the name of of the all the the black colored Decepticon, and you know with that two pack, um, if she was silhouette colored, then yeah that that mold would be fine. But I don't know. And the now, original sideburn pain to transform. The big thing I've been wanting to ask you, I haven't had the time. 
Are you getting a missing link? I need the money to get it. Are you going to go for the animation colors or are you going to go for the toy colors? Animation colors. Yeah, definitely for the animation. I don't need another trailer. And especially if the Studio Series 86 is going to come out with a trailer. That's what I'm like. I really would like the toy colors personally. I would much prefer having the toy colors, but I don't need a trailer either. I've got three G1 trailers. Yeah. There's one behind and, me right now. I mean, so like that, like if I want, if I wanted to get it, I would, I would get the the one without the trailer. And cause it's, I think it's one-to-one -one scale with the original G1 toy, isn't it? Either it's either one-to-one -one or it's really close. And I'm pretty sure it's cause I've heard people say it might not be too scale, but I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. But it's like, that's the problem. It's like really expensive. And it's mm -hmm. like, I got to save my money for so many other transformers that are like, I, I, that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm picking and choosing which transformers I want to buy. You know, like I'm looking at all the different transformers out there nowadays. And I'm like, I don't really want that one. I'll get this one. I'll get that one. It's, well, yeah, that's, that's me. Cause I mean, you saw me post this at the group chat. right here you saw me post this yeah. and the only reason i bought this is because i had the extra money to get or else i would have never bought an mp44 it's that it's, it's, yeah it's a phenomenal toy but man it's super expensive plus the the, the height the scale and all that kind of stuff it's like yeah geez I mean, I've got a, I've got a decent masterpiece collection anyway, because like I, I still like how they look on mm -hmm. a shelf together. But I was content with an M, my MP10. I didn't have any reason to get rid of them. But then they had this one for a lot cheaper without the trailer and whatnot. So I was like, you know what? I've got the money now. I want to check out the mold. So I did. And I mean, it's it's great. But man, is that transformation complex? Oh man. That's, you know, I, 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 there comes a point with transformations where I have to take a step back and say, is this too much? It all started with this guy. Everybody thinks it started with Sentinel Prime, but no, it started with this guy. And I've got a, a actual week series coming out soon about Revenge of the Fallen being You have not been around stuff. when Alternators came out. I was there, but I wasn't at the same okay. time. I was there, you, but you I was got to try and transform some of the alternators transformers. Those. Oh, are I've got, I've got like six of them. They're all, okay. they're, they're all not the worst ones, but I've heard horror stories about Wheeljack. Yeah, yeah. Some of the transformations for those alternators are like really complex, you know. And that's when it comes to the point where if a transformation is not fun, then it's it's almost too complex. It's like, okay, you're going to take a transformer off the shelf and you're going to play with it. Are you going to transform it to both modes? Yeah. You're not going to have to spend the time to do so. It almost becomes right. like, yeah. That's why, do, that's why a lot of us got fired up about that. The but legacy of five pack of Autobots. Definitely want that five pack. Mm. Um, I Hound is a must. Sunstreaker looks great. Wheeljack looks great. Yeah, I don't necessarily need the jazz, but maybe I might paint one of the like a, a jazz figure up as, um, as uh, maybe I'll do a reverse color with ricochet. Could do you that. could do the. You know, I have another excuse to buy them because I don't have any of those molds. Because there you go. Yeah, the wheeljack. I didn't. I couldn't find at Walmart. I wasn't impressed with Jazz as much as I like my Reveal the Shield one. I think that <laughs> you're so I, I love that Reveal the Shield one. I didn't want to replace it. Uh, let's see, Hound. Of course, I didn't even think Hound was going to come out. Yeah. Um, and then Trail he Breaker. Didn't. He, yeah. But he almost was. He almost was supposed to come out. And then Trail Breaker. I never saw Trail Breaker either. Never needed flow charts and design di diagrams when I was a kid. <laughs> Like, uh, what was it? Um, but yeah, no, of that five pack trail, like trail breaker is the one where I'm like, eh, do I need it? Right. 
uh, and say, jazz him, him and jazz are both. Cause like I got the toy hacks labels for Trailbreaker and on jazz and I'm content with that, but wheeljack does look good. Sunstreaker and hound are what the selling point for me is. Well, yeah. And jazz, I'm still on the fence about even just because I still really like that reveal the shield one, you know, if yeah. I get that four pack, I'm probably going to sideline that jazz play with it and see you know and then and tell me what you think of it because i know people are going to say like oh did you get jackpot or no i didn't get jackpot okay so then you don't even own the mold at all mm -mm, mm -mm. right right so that's what i'm saying like if you don't own the mold um then you're going to see what the mold you know feels like because i have jackpot as well so and jackpot is really good when you get the toy hacks labels on him because like it goes above and beyond dude Check this out. So he's really plain without the toy hacks labels. But you oh, can yeah. see like the jackpot stickers on him. And then Doesn't he have like a, a slot machine sticker that comes with him too. Is that he he's got um so with the with the labels, like look at the doors. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, and then he's got like the dice in the mirror. That's, that looks great. Like, yeah, and then the check, like the checkers, is the checkers part of the decals too, or the the checkers are part of the part of the uh, the, the the label set. Oh, okay, like, yeah, the I like that. Looks awful without the uh, like the figure looks awful without the labels. He really does. So, and then the, the spoiler, like. Without the labels, the jackpot figure looks awful. But with the labels, like it's like it really you know revitalizes him. What did you get? Knock it, knockdown or um, knockout? I see that that whole wave I had trouble getting a hold of, and then once I finally saw them, I passed. Okay, so it, it's I really wish I had gotten him, but yeah, I heard it's... people say like, yeah, just if. He's not really the best because I mean it was another prime. The problem is retool. knockout has never had a good. I, I have to say, like poor knockout has never had a really good figure. No, he at has all. not. Like except for that, that legends toy. Was that? The legends, except for his legends toy, his yeah. uh, cyberverse toy was pretty good. Yeah, but his um, like, but. You know that this mold is not a bad mold for a figure. Oh yeah. So using knockout is not bad. It just feels like it's a knockout that's missing things. That's well, I mean, even the it. even the prime deluxe fell still he's, felt he's that literally way. right there, where my finger like you can kind of see him there. With I have barricade and knockout in the front, and then the rest of the the, the that shelf is all based on i think it's guido gidi's uh you know look because that's why i have shockwave in gun mode flying with a rocket like up there because if you've seen that art before yeah um, you know you know what i'm talking about let me see if i can actually bring that up let's see guido gidi Now, if I'm remembering right, the head for Knockout resembles his IDW appearance. Uh, yeah, it does. Well, because it does resemble the IDW appearance. Where is the print? There it is. Let's see if I can bring this up. Share screen, because then I have to go like right after this. Yeah, this art right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so like I have like you know, sound wave and that's why I have a uh, shock. Um, what's his name? Um, you know, sky warp over here is like up above me, like right below shock wave and then thundercracker is over there. But I put knockout and barricade in that wave of figures. And I, I needed I had more shelf space, so I was like, I didn't put Skyfire in jet mode because I didn't have anything to hang him with. So 
I, I put him in robot mode and he has cosmos and tracks and a bunch of ro like robots like in um let's see if i can actually you know i'll go solo layout you can yeah you can kind of see it from here like some of the figures oh, have been yeah. moving around a little bit since then so and then from here i've got menasaur and then the season three decepticons and you know the, all the figures here are being played with a lot by my kids. <laughs> so. Because, <laughs> like, that's what ends up happening. They come in here and they start playing with my Transformers. They'll start taking stuff off the shelf and they'll start playing with it. And I don't mind. That's why I put my G1s in a in another bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, away right. Kids. But anyhow, I have got to get going. It is, we, we went for an, almost an hour and a half. Enjoy talking to all of you guys who have stayed on the stream. And, you know, I have got, so if you've not checked out Treebot before, you should definitely check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of different toy reviews. Yeah, my uh, uh, side, my Armada Sideswipe video is blowing up right now. Thanks your Armada to you. Yeah, because of me. Thanks you. Because of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Melvor sent me a light bright. I still have to put it together. I need to take some time with the kids. Um, we've been every single weekend. We've been having something going on. I need to take time to like put that together. I have a the he sent me the Transformers light bright. We'll I've never I haven't seen it yet. I'll put it together and then I'll 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 take a picture of at least the box before I go and I'll put it in the, and I'll put it in our group chat. But. Yeah, so I I, pre I really appreciate that, Melvor. So if you guys have a, a wonderful weekend, it is gonna tomorrow is Good Friday, good Friday. and uh, we're you know obviously my my wife's on the worship team, so she's gonna be at church for four services. Oh um, boy, because yeah, so she's a, she's actually the worship leader of our church, so um, so she's yeah, gonna be singing, yeah, singing like the whole weekend. <laughs> my grandpa is. He does a month and I do a month. And so we'll be gearing up for our Easter service Sunday, which it'll be an hour longer than probably usual. But, uh, and then we've got dinner at my aunt's place. So I'll have to gear up for that. Mm -hmm. And then after, after, like, I'll be spending this whole weekend working on my next retrospective, hopefully, like while I'm home, if I'm not with family doing stuff. Right. Yeah. And then I've got this script I'm starting my. Why don't you come here? Come here, buddy. What is this? Yeah, we're on live right now. So why don't you why don't you say say, say goodbye to everybody? Say bye bye everybody. Bye 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 everybody. All right. So until so I'm gonna get cut this <laughs> off at this point. So until next time, till all, all are one. one. <laughs>